Was anything accomplished at all that can help the full House decide whether Hunter Biden should be held in contempt or have Republicans unofficially decided already? No, of course they've already decided. Um, you know, this is nothing more than games for them, and it's a matter of a way to distract from the fact that the Republicans are unsuccessful at doing anything that is productive for the American people. It's also a way to make it seem as if there's something nefarious that's going on. They want to make it seem as if President Biden and his family um, have the same types of issues as Trump and his family, and there really is no comparison. We know that Trump has 91 counts pending against him for a reason. So, as we were just talking about with Julie Jester on Capitol Hill, Hunter Biden's attorney sent a letter to the Oversight Committee yesterday saying, now, if the committee submits a new subpoena, he would comply. So the question is, which Julie didn't have an answer to yet because they haven't told her, will the committee do that and would it prevent him from being held in contempt? I mean, do, do Republicans on the committee, they just want him to be held in contempt so they might not consider issuing the new subpoena? What do they have to lose by doing that? They, they do just want him held in contempt. But one of the reasons and rationales that they gave before for why they needed to take this impeachment inquiry vote was because they did want to put some power behind their subpoenas. Um, one of the things that was learned in the last impeachment that took place as it relates to Trump is that the courts really required that Congress act in some way to legitimize the authority in which was sought to subpoena people in an impeachment investigation. And so we know, and if the Republicans do decide to basically acquiesce and say, yeah, okay, we'll agree that we need to reissue, then that tells you that they are agreeing that it was invalid on its face in the first place. Hmm. Um, so I think that going forward now, on whether or not he should be held in contempt, I think that it puts that at jeopardy, and they need to see what he does when a new subpoena is issued. So you had a pretty strong reaction to Nancy Mace's comments about Hunter Biden's appearance at the hearing. Uh, let's take a listen to what Mace said. You are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls. Okay. Uh, you had a strong reaction to those comments in the hearing. I'm curious your reaction to hearing that again. <laughs> you know, I mean, it is absolutely insane. Um, this is what we do, right, when you're on the Republican side, is you use phrases that really do have some deep and hurtful meanings for people that look like me. You say things like white privilege, which I'm not saying that Hunter Biden does or does not enjoy white privilege, but not showing up to this committee has nothing to do with white privilege whatsoever. Um, there may be a privilege that Hunter enjoys, but it definitely isn't necessarily because he is a white man. And having it come from someone like Nancy Mace and then her retort to what I said having to do with the likes of Harriet Tubman, which I was like, lady, I don't know where you're coming from um, talking about Harriet Tubman, but I do want them to recognize that white privilege exists. And actually, she realized and said that she was one, if not the only Republican that tries to work on issues as it relates to minorities. Now, whether or not I agree with that is a whole other issue, mm -hmm. but really checking your privilege at the door is what Nancy Mace and the rest of her Republican colleagues need to do at all times and be cognizant of how they act because they employ the same white privilege as we sit in committee and their MAGA friends that follow them do the same things as they have so many derogatory uh, things to say about me on social media that have nothing to do with substance, but because they are white and half of them literally lack half the education that I have have, but somehow they feel as if they are superior to me as a black educated woman in America.